For the first time in school history, both the CSUB women's and men's basketball teams won in the first round of the Big West Tournament, and the women's game was an overtime thriller. The runners entered the new Dollar Loan Center as the ninth seed, but they were motivated by the fans who made the trip from Kern County. Jaden Eggleston was playing in her hometown. She came back home and scored a career-high 29 points. The junior guard knocked down mid-range jumpers throughout the first half. When Northridge took those away from her, Eggleston went to the rack. She drives for the layup and gets the foul. Bakersfield struggled to make shots down the stretch and CSUN took advantage to send this game into overtime. In OT, Vanessa Austin took over. The senior center hits a layup in the post to give CSUB the lead. CSUN answered back with a three. Eggleston said, I can do that too. So with 15 seconds to go, the runners have the ball. Down by one, Lexis Green throws up a shot. It goes off the glass. The ball is up for grabs. Vanessa Austin makes the game-winning shot with less than a second left. Bakersfield upsets eighth-seeded Northridge in overtime. The runners move on to play top-seeded Hawaii on Wednesday. This is what you call playing for 40 minutes when you use it every tick of the clock. And we lost the same exact way almost at their place uh, with Vanessa shooting that same type of shot but falling short. And this time, we know it came out on our side. Well, as we were coming out the huddle, Jaden just told me to rebound. So I was like, OK, I'm going to rebound. So you know, when the shot went up, I was like, let me, let me get this put back. Like McCall said, we were in that same predicament at CSUN, and I fell short. So you know, this time, I was like, let me kiss it high off the glass. I'm just so happy for our team, happy for the city of Bakersfield. We just made history today, being the first team to get a win in this new building. And so, what a way for us uh, to uh, be able to start it up and get this thing rolling. On the men's side, they said they were motivated after watching the women win. They had the lead in the first half, but the second half is when they really turned it on. Ridgeview grad Justin McCall scored 11 points and threw down a couple of dunks to get the energy going inside the Dollar Loan Center. Caleb Higgins said he wanted to give the crowd a show. He blows by his defender for a tough layup. He chipped in 15 points alongside Sean Stith. In the final minutes, McCall seals the game with a two-handed flush. The runners were excellent on defense and did not allow a point in the last two minutes. They upset Northridge and played top-seeded Long Beach State on Thursday. We were different. I mean, you watched us. and We were different uh, the last eight to ten minutes than what we've been all season. Uh, besides the boys game so uh, you know we're gonna have to be like that on Thursday uh, but it was good to see us like the way, way we were on defense uh, just going through the season especially through conference play you're not, not not having many wins and losing against this team earlier in conference it feels good to get a win but uh, like coach said you know uh, we celebrated for a little bit in the locker room but now we're back to locking in for Long Beach on Thursday. So both runner teams win and move on, but now they play the top seeds in their respective brackets. But hey, they call it March Madness for a reason, right? And both these CSUB teams look like they found a new identity. In Henderson, Adrian Luevano, 23 ABC.